Hello everyone, today I have the Witch's Moon box to share with you um, from the Witch's Moon Company. I'm so excited. Um, this is what the box looks like, but it does come in another uh, cardboard box on the outside, so you don't have to worry about this showing um, on your doorstep. Let's open it up and take a look. I don't know what the theme is, I never do. <laughs> um, I love these boxes though. I keep these and reuse them to store like different things. Um, they're just really nice boxes. Oh yes. <laughs> so excited already. Here is what it looks like. If you can even see, I am loving this card. Um, so excited for that. Okay. Let's see what the theme is. Oh man, Secrets of the Tarot. I'm pumped. I can't tell if that's in focus. My eyes are a little blurry. Um, there, the Secrets of the Tarot. Tarot has always been an integral part of our practices and workings, providing us with further perspectives and humble nudges. So we commonly rely on the practice of reading tarot to start our day or to revisit a series of events that may have recently played out on our journey. As with many aspects of our craft, we rely on the connection with symbols, imagery, and understanding to gain insight into our current pressing realities. In this extreme spe extremely special and limited collection, we work with a unique set of beautiful tools to inspire and bolster your intuitive practices. Um, okay, I am super excited. Super excited. <laughs> and here is the card i freaking love this um that's just i don't know this type of thing always draws my my gaze <laughs> let's see what we got oh <laughs> uh death i love this artwork oh my lanta that is beautiful okay i'm obsessed with this um I feel good about this. I freaking love this card. All right. I wish, like, I don't want it to set on fire, <laughs> but I want to, like, sit it up because it's so, uh, pretty. You know what? Well, no. I'll just, I'll just sit it there. I love that card, though. Okay. Lots of artwork, it looks like. Um, on top... Well, we have this beautiful artwork. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. The moon and the sun. I hope you guys can see this okay. I love this. Ugh, all right. That's the first piece of artwork. The second one is the suit of wands love wands um wands is probably my favorite Ugh, and i love the colors on here oh i'm so pumped okay so suit of wands i'm just trying to make space because i know i'm gonna run out of room um the suit of pentacles Again, with the artwork, I just can't <laughs> with the artwork in these boxes. It's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna have to like layer things here this time. Okay, the next one is the suit of swords. Again, with this artwork, oh my gosh love it and the last one the suit of cups oh my look at that all right that's the artwork this box again is <laughs> jam-packed um let's see i see i'm gonna assume what is our candle 
let me cut this open. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, I love it. It's black. It has some herbs on there. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. I love that. Love, love, love. All right. Set that over there. Next. Ooh, we got another spray. Love it. There's our little spray nozzle. It's gonna roll around. Um, oh man, I love this tarot aura spray. I love how this looks with the moon on there. Oh, I freaking love this. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's almond or like a cherry. It smells very good. I'm going to say it's almond, but I like that. I like that a lot. Next thing I see is some hibiscus. Because there are herbs all over me from <laughs> this box and the last box. Mm, I love hibiscus. So pretty. I don't even know if you can see it, but I just really like hibiscus. Um, the next thing is, what does this say? Oh, sweet wood. Sweetwood is like cinnamon, right? Mmm, smells good. Focus. Oh, it smells good though. We have the prophetess or prophetess. <laughs> However you want to say it, uh, ritual herbal tea. I feel like it's not focusing anywhere. Where are you focusing, camera? Okay. I like this uh, silvery bag. I don't think we've gotten that before. Ooh, oh, that smells good. And it's in um, little bags already. That's nice. Oh my gosh, very minty. I love this. Ugh, that smells so good. I'm definitely gonna have to make a cup of this when I finish here because that is like making my mouth water. What do we have here? We have Queen of Cups Sacred Salt. Good. I feel like I'm kind of getting that like almond vibe again. I don't know. Hmm, I'm not sure what's in there. It smells really good though. Um, looks like we have some incense. Dark opium. Sounds lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. It's definitely that like opium scent. If you've ever smelled an opium incense before. So pretty, like sultry. I like it. All right, I want to make sure I'm getting everything. Okay, and then we have a sachet. My camera's gonna die. I might have to just finish up pulling everything out, charge it up, and then come back and go over the paperwork. But um, look at this. 
So pretty. Oh, I love this. And I know what this is, but I can't. Guys, I know what this is. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. I am so bad with the different stones, but I love them. And I really like this one. Oh my goodness. I like it a lot. Okay. Where did I put the sachet? And then I think there's one thing left in here and I'm so excited. Oh my lantern. Guys. The intuitive night goddess tarot. Look at this. I I feel like I'm gonna cry. I freaking love this already. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, I love the black sachet. And like I thought, I am out of room. Let me bring it down a little bit. Okay, I don't know. Sorry. Maybe that's a little bit better. Okay. This, I love this. I love the aesthetic. I, I just love this so much. Connect to intuition, delve into nature, cross the hidden veil, embrace the universe, unfold your myth. Um, yes, please. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to charge my battery and then we are going to get into this deck because I'm obsessed already. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and getting this deck open and then we're gonna look at it. <laughs> I'm trying not to rip the box, but I think I just did. Oh man, yeah, I cut the box. Wow, that's okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I just love it. Here it is. Oh, look at that again. So cool. I love this. I love this whole aesthetic. Um, yeah, I cut the box right there, but it's okay. All right, let's get into it. We have a little guidebook. Once again, I just love all this black, and this is matte. Okay, somebody is mowing their grass, so you might hear that going on, but... Oh, and look, the inside of the box is so cool. There's a huge glare. I love this, though. Let me see if I can turn this light off back here. It might alleviate some of that glare that's going on. Okay, that's probably a good bit darker, but hopefully it'll be less glare. So this is what the cards look like on the back. I just love it. I love this like speckled look, like this night sky. Ugh, okay. I'm going to shuffle this. Actually, I guess we'll go through, we'll go through them first and then I'll shuffle and pull a card. Um, even though we did get a card anyway. Oh, you know what I'm getting, I have like lotion on my hands and it's getting all over these. No, hopefully it'll just wipe off. Let's see if I can, <laughs> trying to wipe it off my hands as best I can. Okay. So I'll just go through these um, one by one. We have potential. And these also have numbers at the top. So this is zero potential. One, the witch. The high priestess. These are beautiful. I'm obsessed. Wow. Okay. The Empress. Oh, I love 
love this one with the butterflies. The Monarch. Ugh, I love those butterflies. I don't know if it's gonna... Yeah, I don't think I can get very close, but look at that. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh man, <laughs> it's just like it gets better and better. The Mystic. It's beautiful, I love this. Sorry if I just bumped you. Um, I feel like there's two here, yeah. The Wayfarer. Wayfarer. <laughs> Look at that snake on her arm. Oh my goodness, okay. Freedom. Oh, I love this one too. Some of them are kind of sticking together. I love the size of these. Um, sometimes they're just so big that it's hard to like get a grasp on, but the size of these is perfect. Strength. Introspection. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, this one's stuck. <laughs> okay. Chance. Ugh. I'm just like in awe. Justice. Meditation. And this is the card that we got um, in our box. Death. I love it. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. I love the artwork on here. Oh my. Temperance. Stuck together. Um, reclamation or reclamation. <laughs> Look at her bat wings. Oh my goodness. So cool. Revolution. The star. Gorgeous. I'm trying to hold them there long enough so that you can pause if you want to, to look at them more closely. Um, the moon. I cannot with this deck. It is gorgeous. The sun. Awakening. The universe. I'm so sorry if that lawnmower is like extremely obnoxious. Um, Ace of Wands. I love those poppies. Two of Wands. Ooh, wow, I really like this one. Three of Wands. So cool. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Wands starts to sound really funny the more you say it. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Wow. Oh, this one's so pretty. Nymph of Wands. Eight 
warrior of wands. Queen of wands. I love that crow. Oh, okay. Spirit of wands. And then on to the cups, we have Ace of Cups. Again, gorgeous with that moth. I love it. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Oh, I love this one. Five of Cups. I love the contrast of colors on there. Oh, this one's really pretty. Six of Cups. Love that. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. This one's nice too. Ten of Cups. The Nymph of Cups. Looking like the birth of Venus. Love that. Warrior of Cups. Queen of Cups. This one's really pretty. Spirit of Cups. Ace of Swords. Love this one. Two of Swords. Hopefully I'm getting the whole card in the shot. <laughs> Three of Swords. In the frame, I guess I should say. Um, Four of Swords. Five of Swords. This one's nice. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Oh wow. Ten of Swords. It's gorgeous. Oh, this one's very pretty. The Nymph of Swords. I love that. Warrior of Swords. Queen of Swords. The butterflies again. Ooh. Spirit of Swords. I love this one. On to the Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Beautiful. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven. This one's very pretty. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Again, say Pentacles like 30 times in a row. <laughs> See how funny it sounds. Um, ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. These last few are really stuck together. 
nymph of pentacles look at that Ugh. warrior of pentacles Queen of Pentacles and Spirit of Pentacles. So pretty. I am obsessed with this. I love, I mean, it has like everything that I love, like the darkest relationship, sensitivity, sentiment, element, water, celestial influence, moon, Mars, Neptune, and Pluto. Love those. Um, next, they talk about the hand rolled dressed and anointed intuition awaits spell candle we have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of enhancing your intuition during your tarot readings this candle is meant to bolster your psychic energy allowing you to focus on your intentions before you begin work to create the energy that you intend to surround yourself with during ritual this can include cleaning cleansing and setting the tone for the reading or meditation we always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may speak words clearly out loud this candle has been enchanted with jasmine chamomile lavender and almond oils as well as rolled in jasmine buds i love this candle Oh, so so much I love it the next thing they talk about is the before I begin incantation book of shadows artwork I probably won't be able to grab it of course okay um, and this says to accompany your intuition await spell candle we have included the corresponding incantation artwork for you to display on your altar or use before you begin your readings or divinatory practices the sigil you will find behind these words comes from the following incantation i call upon the tarot to bring wisdom and guidance um, written by g ibis illustrated by a e alden next they talk about the tarot aura spray um, tarot divinatory ritual aura spray we are thrilled to be able to introduce our tarot divinatory ritual aura spray within this collection this very special blend was created to enhance your readings and prepare your sacred space as you spray around yourself in reading area state your intentions and visualize your emotional and physical body preparing for a communion with the universal consciousness we have created this ritual aura spray with the oils of jasmine almond rose and a special mixture of our seeker magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery i love this i'm so excited to start using that um next the prophetess prophetess um where is it here ritual herbal tea bags a wonderfully fresh and bright blend the prophetess prophetess i don't know i don't know where to enunciate um, ritual herbal tea bags have been placed within this collection for its strong association with activating the psychic center. Allow yourself to relax and align while sipping this blend before or during your readings. Allow these energies to gently accompany you as you search for new and pressing information. This ritual herbal blend has been created with hibiscus, peppermint, and stevia. As you sip this calming blend before or after your divinatory ritual, allow its energies to conjure emotions, openness, and understanding. I'm really excited about this. It smells amazing. Um, like I said, it was like making my mouth water. So I look forward to that. Then we have our hibiscus. A wonderfully expressive herb, hibiscus can bring the energies of love and stimulation into your workings. Known for allowing long-held emotional scars to heal, hibiscus brings positivity in a form of gentle energy. As well as being used for several love spells, hibiscus can also be placed within a sachet under your pillow to encourage prophetic dreams and visions. We recommend keeping the dream journal a dream journal while you use this herb to document any messages that may be trying to reach you during this time planetary association is venus elemental association is water um 
I've been having some crazy dreams lately. <laughs> so I don't know, I might I might be able to incorporate that. Um sweet wood or cinnamon. Is that focused? Okay. Um, one of the most widely used herbs in witchcraft, cinnamon brings potency to your psychic endeavors and divinatory practices. Practices, In addition to aiding in your readings and meditations, cinnamon can enhance any spells associated with luck, love, healing, prosperity, and protection. We always reach for cinnamon while looking to enhance any of the energies we are currently working with. These cinnamon chips provide a convenient method to grab a pinch and add to your magical workings quickly and effectively. Gender Association Masculine, Planetary Association Sun, Elemental Association Fire. Um, the Queen of Cups Sacred Salt. This video is going to be forever long. Um, this Queen of Cups Sacred Salt was created with the intention of nurturing your connection with the divine. Allow the ingredients within this blend to bring you the energies of compassion, emotional stability, intuition, and introspection. As we soak within these waters, allow the sacred salt to pull you towards the earth as if the roots of the wise have captured you and are wrapping you with, the warm, with a warm embrace. We have enchanted this sacred salt with green tea. My camera stopped. I don't know where. Hopefully I finished reading about the sacred salts. Um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't want to go over it again if... I already read it all, so we'll just move on to the next thing, which is our stone, and it's black obsidian. Um, I guess I could have guessed that, but I, I didn't, so <laughs> um, I love this, though. Very pretty. Um, black obsidian stone, a powerful source of blah, 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 blah. a powerful source of protection and cleansing. Obsidian has long been used to eliminate feelings of fear and uncertainty, washing away negative negativity and chaos. We have included this stone for you to meditate with before your readings or to simply place on top of your deck when not in use. That's a great idea. Um, the energies will keep your cards clear from negative associations. Elemental association is earth. Oh my goodness. And I almost broke it, but it is so... Oh, pretty I love it I do I think I have some black obsidian but not quite like this so I'm happy with that and it like look how perfectly it just like goes with everything okay next thing dark opium ritual incense sticks right here um as you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to walk through your sacred space, allow its energies to bring inner peace and calm to your envir environment. This ritual incense also carries the ability to enhance your psychic and intuitive practices. Um, the personalized tarot reading. This was the card that I got. Um, we have meditated and selected a card from the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot deck by Lindsay Silverman and I have Astro to place inside your box. This card and the symbology that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing realities in your world. For further information regarding your card, please refer to the companion guide included within this collection, which I will do once I'm done here. I will read about that card. Um, and then the last thing is the parchment paper. They always, um, give you a blank piece of parchment paper to write down, you know, whatever you want, intentions, um, etc. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's everything in this box. I love it. I don't know if you could tell, but absolutely love it. There's herbs everywhere. Um incredibly happy with this box i love how everything goes together i'm trying to move you up a little bit but oh my goodness it probably makes it worse i don't know um i 
absolutely love this box. Love the deck. The deck has to be my favorite item, but I think everything goes really well together. Um, yeah, I just love it. I love the colors. I love it all. I'm very happy with this box. I like the roots and the moon box were on point with me for me um, this month. I loved both of them. Everything, everything in them I will use and enjoy. I'm just putting everything kind of together because I just want to see it all <laughs> together um, because I'm obsessed with the colors. Like, ugh, I love it. Perfect. This is one of my favorite boxes so far, I think. Um, just love it. Okay. Let me know what you guys think about this box. Um, do you think it was a hit or a miss? I don't, I don't know how you could think this is a miss, but <laughs> I mean, to each their own, everybody has a different preference. Um, I love it though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to dive into this deck. It's beautiful. Oh, so excited. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later. Bye.